Just when the Kona thought it had the small end of Hyundai's SUV lineup all to itself, in comes its newborn little sibling. This is the all-new 2020 venue. Hyundai refers to it as an urban compact SUV. The EPA calls it a midsize car. Either way, it's small, the most diminutive and least expensive Hyundai utility vehicle, and the only one that's strictly front-wheel drive. Sized similarly to the Honda Fit, the Venue is ostensibly Hyundai's crossover alternative to the Accent sedan. Now, I must admit, upon first glance, I wasn't expecting much. The Venue's styling is a mashup between a first-gen Mitsu Outlander and Subaru Forester, so I can't say I'm enamored with the design. But once past its looks, the venue impresses. What it does particularly well is provide a quality feel in a feature-laden versatile cabin at a very modest price. The venue starts at around $18,500 and comes in at $23,425 for this mid-trim SEL model with all of the options. And in typical Hyundai fashion, this gives the venue auto climate control, heated front seats, a sunroof, industry-leading infotainment with navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, proximity key with push-button start, a drive mode selector with sport and snow settings, LED lighting front and rear, and tons of advanced safety features, including blind spot, rear cross traffic, and lane keep assist. From the comfortable cloth driver's seat, there's a lot of windshield and tons of headroom, so forward visibility is great, and you sit a little higher than the cars around you. These rear seats are elevated, so you can see above the front headrests, which is nice. There's also a bump here in the headliner to accommodate for the added height. I also like the fabric they've chosen for these seats, both for its appearance and for the way that it holds you in place. There's also enough cushioning here, so they're actually quite comfortable. But that's just about it. Don't go looking for USB ports, adjustable air vents, heated rear seats, or even a center armrest because you will not find them. But I suppose I'd rather see Hyundai cut corners back here than in some other areas. You see the stat sheet and prepare for the worst. A 121 horsepower four-cylinder producing 113 pound-feet of torque working through a continuously variable transmission. So you think slow, noisy, and annoying to drive. But that's not the case. Hyundai's ability to make this powertrain adequate, smooth, and quiet at this price point is darn impressive. It fits the venue's urban driving landscape quite well, but it's also a decent highway cruiser, stable with an uncharacteristically hushed cabin. The ride is also more forgiving than you'd imagine, thanks in part to the cushion provided by these 17-inch Nexen tires. Plus, I averaged a very agreeable 35 mpg for the week, and the venue can cover over 380 miles on a full tank. What really surprises me about the venue is how non-cheaply it drives. As a matter of fact, it's really quite the opposite. This 1.6-liter engine and CVT pairing is mature far beyond its modest output and the venue's bargain-minded price tag. And the steering and handling will leave you shaking your head that an entry-level model like this can be this good. It's also quiet and stocked with features you might not expect. A six-speed manual is available on the base SE trim, but loses out to the CVT in mileage. Now, you've got to realize that the venue's cargo room behind the rear seats isn't going to hold too much, though it is greater than that of the fits. So just make sure the size is going to meet your needs. So as long as you're cool with the looks, the venue would make for a great first new car, a city runabout, or an everyday quasi-SUV for those on a budget. For TestDriveNow.com, I'm Steve Hammes.